Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Hilal Live. Thanks for watching us on Channel 347. Now, we've just had the opening of uh, Parliament last week and uh, for the seventh administration. We covered that live. Um, we're glad to have you on board and give us your feedback as well. And I thought let's invite one of the political parties in studio and find out and maybe do a bit of a post analysis after the president's speech as well. From the NCC, I'd like to welcome first uh, Brother Fazluddin Abrams. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam and shukran for having me. My absolute pleasure. And then also um, Brother Hanif Lunat, also from the NCC. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. I spoke to Fadil uh, last week as well, and you know, he doesn't uh, pull any punches. He just tells it like it is. Being part of the progressive uh, caucus, you know, there seems to be a bit of a divide at the moment. Um, if you're looking at the president's speech and the way he delivered his speech, I mean, Julius Malema said it's nothing new that we've heard. What's your experience? Indeed, that is exactly what it is. It's nothing new. Mm -hmm. It's words that are being uttered with meaningless uh, connotations to it, you know, mm -hmm. and all these words were spoken before. Right. And it was never delivered with. I mean, there were so many houses being offered, so many jobs being offered, the budget being purely and decently spread out, you know, mm -hmm. and, and, and really speaking to the communities that it should speak to. Yeah. But it went when it comes to implementation and delivery, mm -hmm. that is where it falls flat every five years after five years after five years. It's a bit of a and regurgitation been, of uh, been, the same thing. It's been six cycles um, and it's unacceptable. We're now in our seventh cycle. Yeah. And we as the NCC or the, the National Colored Congress, um, and I want to put this on record as well, that a lot of people is getting the, the acronym wrong. It's the CCC mm -hmm. and it's a National Colored Congress. Gotcha. So I think with us coming on board, we hope to make a lot of change and bring change to, uh, one, the political definition of the word politics, mm -hmm. um, which is ultimately power by the people for the people, and to ensure that everybody equally gets represented and empowered and educated, developed, and we need to obviously put a lot of emphasis mm -hmm. on culture. And that is to preserve the culture of our people. Okay, well said. I like that as well. I think that's what we all in South Africa would like as well. Brother Hanif, you, you've been involved in politics for a while. And uh, in terms of the GNU, too soon? Too quick? Are we anticipating um, more of a hindrance than actually a help for the people of South Africa? Very interestingly, you used to... Uh interview me when I was an activist, now mm. you're doing it as a politician. Right. Yeah, I believe we're still not politically mature mm. to go into such partnership. Um, we lack the maturity, we lack the knowledge of politics. Mm -hmm. We still need to come a long way before we really get a successful GNU going. Mm -hmm. I believe we're going to have a GNU of convenience. Okay. That's what we're going to have at the moment. Yeah. It's to satisfy each other's wants instead of the ones of the people. Mm. That is why we've asked our president to ensure that we don't jump into something like this without mm. really considering our people first. And due diligence, uh, Do basically. Your di diligence, yeah, yeah. I think that's also a very good point. Um, Fasluddin, if you look at uh, the various parties that have now joined the GNU, we look at it a couple of months, a couple of weeks ago, you know, um, most of the parties had a lot to say mm. against uh, the ruling party. They now all proverbially jumped into bed and now singing the same song. Yes. Uh, you know, some people are confused mm. by how all of this has transpired. You know, um, Helen Zilla made a tweet saying that politics makes be uh, strange bedfellows. <laughs> and, I mean, she's the one we, as the federal leader of the Democratic Alliance, yeah. who has been campaigning against the ANC during pre-elections uh, and at the time of elections, they get enough seats in order to play some sort of card with the ANC and they go into bed with the ANC. Yeah. Uh, it's, like, it's like saying, I will never live with you, mm -hmm. but eventually I'll tolerate there's you. an op opportunity <laughs> yeah. to be part of this household. Internal optimistics. And uh, uh, all of a sudden, it's okay, you're not that bad. <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah. that's folk tongue. Of course. That's hypo hypocritic. Yeah. Um, and it's, 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 but it's left obvious. It's left constituents baffled Indeed. by all of this as well, uh, to the point that not many people have confidence yeah. in the GNU yeah. as much as we'd like 
all of this to work out and be successful as well. But I want to bring it back a bit to NCC and the work that you do within the communities. Brother uh, Hanif, I know that you were very instrumental in assisting various communities with some of the challenges as well. Do you want to tell our viewers what's currently happening? What have you done in the last couple of weeks, couple of months? Very interesting. We, we at the moment uh, have varied our work. We've shared it amongst our seven councillors and those that help us in the back room. Mm -hmm. And we are successfully helping our communities overcome the challenges that they anticipate on a daily basis. Yeah. The one that we are really dealing with at the moment is obviously poverty, yeah. uh, joblessness, and the unfair practice where jobs are created mainly for people that have come into the province, while mm -hmm. those that are born and bred in the province mm -hmm. have been neglected and uh, have been left on the wayside, been, be becoming unemployed, leading eventually into gangsterism and crime mm -hmm. in general. But those, those are two separate issues, right? One separate about not being born in the province, and the other leading to gangsterism. That's a whole social... Um, challenge that, that, that we still need to address. I mean, nobody wants to be a gangster, nobody asks to be a gangster, but nobody's also driven to be a gangster at the same time because we all have choices. You know, so the social ills, I think, need to be addressed before saying we're driving people to, to, to gangsterism. Um, Fazluddin, with regards to your role as a PR counsellor, what will you be looking at now that you've been sitting in the city of Cape Town You'll be representing NCC. What will be primarily your role? Thank you, Lukman. As, as a PR counsellor, we now represent our people in government, local government as a, uh, in the city of Cape Town. And our key role would be to be the bridge between community and mm -hmm. government. Okay. So there's something called the C3 log. For example, if your light is out, if your road is damaged, okay. if um, anything that's wrong mm -hmm. that falls within the ambit of the city of Cape Town to deliver service. Mm -hmm then that is where the community and within our branches log that call. I see. When the, the call is not being adhered to or mm. uh, administered or attended to, it then gets escalated. And that is where we come in as PR counsellors. Okay, we brilliant. escalate. A lot of people don't know where to report that. Uh, or, or report it to the city and it, they find that it takes too long. Indeed. Mm. Look, there's, there's many bylaws that, that are being certain, contravened. Do you find that certain uh, suburbs get preference to others? Indeed. Um, it's, it's not more about that is more about the the balance because mm -hmm. you find a lot of issues mm -hmm. with regards to service delivery are definitely within the k flats area right why because there's an imbalance of the budget first of all and as a result of that service delivery lacks mm -hmm. but there's so much more issues over here within our societies that's why there need to be a bigger budget mm -hmm. but it's it's, it's a, currently the administration in the city of cape town is, is doing it the other way. Right. The budget, the higher, bigger budget spending is in the more affluent areas gotcha. where you have a bulk load of people on the Cape Flats area, for example, and they're just not getting and enough. And let's face it, if you compare uh, an affluent area to maybe a not so affluent area, the rates are not that bit, uh, much different. Indeed. So why are you getting different services? Mm -hmm. So uh, mm. you, you're getting 10 people, for example, in a 118 or 100 square meter uh, earth that gives you what a thousand square meters yeah and the more affluent area you have one earth in that a thousand six hundred square meters with a family of five or four household here you have eight to four or four to eight people in one household times ten that's mm -hmm. 80 people living in a thousand square meters so what is the service delivery requirements for them versus the five people on a thousand square meter plus yeah brother and if you've been very vocal with uh, the city of cape town especially as well and and some of their lack of of, of services to our community uh, are you still going to you know be that voice for the voiceless that's not there because let's face it, a lot of our community is overwhelmed when it comes to being a, you know approaching the city of cape town with challenges that they face on a daily basis Definitely, uh, Lukman. We will, I will continue serving the destitute people in our communities as I had been doing as a civil mm -hmm. uh, person. But I will now do it as a politician. There's advantages to it. I now do it on a formal basis mm -hmm. where I, when I raise issues now, it has to be responded to because there's accountability. Mm -hmm. They'll have to answer at a certain stage of the complaint. 
to us as mm. politicians. Right. And we then have to relay it back to our community. And it gets registered accordingly. It does. Know, and there's paper channels. trails. Yep. And there's obviously meeting uh, processes where minutes are there. Brilliant. So they can't shy away from the truth. Yeah. So we will continue enforcing and uh, um, ensuring that uh, the city works for us. Right. And presently they're working just for a few. Gotcha. Um, what's, what's next for NCC? What, what are you going to hit the ground running with? 2026 is around the corner. Mm. We need to empower our people to... Oh, let me rather speak about the past 2024 mm -hmm. national and provincial elections. Right. right. Um, it, it was a farce. The amount of corruption mm. and uh, it still hasn't been addressed. It's just, it still hasn't been addressed. Yeah. So the only way for us to prepare for 2026 is to educate our people, mm. make sure we understand the concept of mm. having to serve as party agents, look out for what the presiding officers and the counters does when the doors close, when the actual counting of ballot papers takes place. What happens when that information is then transcribed into gotcha. what we call a counting sheet? The counting sheet goes to IEC for capturing and the results is given. But also holding All people accountable processes. in that process. Yes. So, so we are then able, better geared in the future to hold them, them accountable, the, especially the IEC. Mm. But more importantly, to ensure that justice is prevailed in elections so that we have a free and fair election. Do you find that you had the adequate votes that you should have had? We, we most probably did double uh, than what, what the results shows. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah. So well done. So we're looking Con forward to the local elections. So. Congratulations once again. You guys are doing an amazing job. I'd like to have you back in studio at some time, uh, chatting about some of the other challenges and uh, success plans that's been put in place as well. From the NCC, Brother Hanif and uh, Brother Fazluddin, Jazakallah so much. Salaam alaikum. Welcome, Salaam. Thank you for having us. My absolute pleasure. And uh, that's how we end Hilal Live. We're back tomorrow between uh, 5 and 6. Do join us from the Cape Town team, Sahil Barnes, Mohammed Parker, and myself, Lukman Shadrach. Have a great evening. Assalamu alaikum.